This is the pipe as it passes through the wall. It's passing through on a 45 degree angle, and then it hits a, a Y right there and shoots straight down. There's another line that's tied right in there. Now, what we're going to end up having to do is straighten this pipe out as it goes through the wall. The pit on the outside is already dug. So that we can pass a six inch sleeve through. We'll get rid of all of this testy. We'll bring it in, turn it down on the stack. We'll put a clean out right here on this pipe. He'll end up building an access panel right here uh, so that he can access into the sewer and stop pulling the toilet off the ground. Uh, now we're going to put the sleeve in, hydraulically seal it on both sides. Outside, we're going to put a clean out and sub up for a clean out outside. And then he's going to worry about back from the later. I'm going to pause this. All right, this is the second hole out here. What you can see is somebody put a fern cone on it with a shear band. Now the pipe is going downhill, but it's only slightly going downhill when you take the grade of the PVC. So inside, we're going to have to open up this. It's a block wall. It's just been parged. Open a block wall and put better grade on it and drop it down. We'll put a clean out instead of a clean out out and up right here and just cap it off for right now because it doesn't, it can just be female adapter and plugged. Because you may end up using it for a salon in here. So a little bit of digging down around there. Then Fernco and shear band through the uh, the sleeve. And seal it all up to the wall so it doesn't leak.